For this problem, we have x to the fourth plus x squared dx, and then we have the same number, one of them's positive, one of them's negative. That lets you know that this will be a even or odd uh, question, meaning you have to figure out whether this function is even or odd, and that'll tell you how to solve it. So for this one, it's we, let's try with even. So it's going to be f of x, the definition of an even function is f of x is equal to f negative x, meaning if you plug in a negative x here. So all I'm going to do is just plug in a negative number. So for here, all I did was rewrite the equation on both sides. And so for this one, let's just plug in 1, right? So let's plug in a negative 1. So let's, uh, every time we see x, we'll plug in negative 1. So negative 1 here, negative 1 here. Well, this is just going to be 1, right? Because negative 1 to the 4th is 1, and negative 1 squared will be 1. Over here, since it's just we're plugging in 1 here, um, it's just 1, 1. So both of these are going to be 2. And since they're exactly the same, we have found out that this is an even function. So now since we know it's an even function, the actual definition for an integral of an even function will be this. If you have the same number, one of them is positive, one of them is negative of a function, it's the same as 2 times one of those numbers, um, this a to 0, um, and this will become equal to this. So our problem was 2 to the negative 2, and then um, x to the 4th plus x squared dx. So this will become this. So 2 times 2 uh, from 0 to 2, and x fourth plus x squared. Oh, let me write um, dx right here to remain consistent. And now we will integrate it and then evaluate it. So here um, I integrated this, and so x to the fourth, all I'm going to do is just add 1 to the 4, so that's going to become 5, divide by 5. Over here, 2, add 1 to the 2, so it'll be 3, divide by 3, at the same exponent. Um, so all I did was just add 1 to the exponent and divide by the same exponent and that will that's the same as integrating that is integrating it and then x squared right here add 1 so it'll be 3 divided by 3 um, because that's the new exponent and then keep the 2 um, and now we evaluate it this is just the sign to evaluate it uh, from 2 to 0 so all we're going to do is just plug in 2 so it's going to be 2 times 2 to the 5th divided by 5 plus 2 cubed divided by 3 minus 0 if we plug in 0 for both of these. The thing is, if we plug in 0 for both of these, right, it'll be 0 plus 0, which the entire thing will be 0, and 0 times 2 will still be 0. So it's just going to be minus 0. So now if you compute all of this, the actual decimal form will be 18.133. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.